Zap what iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, you can also reach me on iOSgenius.com. So today we're going to go over through the process of going through your Apple Configurator 2.0 version, which is the latest version uh, in using Apple Configurator while having the OS of El Capitan. Uh, if you have Yosemite, you would have to be on version 1.7, 1.5. 1.7 is the latest version on uh, Yosemite. And then you also have the version in Mavericks, which is a 1.4. For Yosemite. So we're going to go through Apple Configurator 2. On my previous videos, you would see also the migration and also through what are the new changes on the tour of Apple Configurator. So right now we're going to go down here. This is the new Apple Configurator logo. You want to select that. And as you can see, the Outlook kind of looks like an iTunes kind of feel or soul sense. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As all new iOS devices, Apple Configurator make it easier for you to quickly set up and add apps, profiles, documents to one or many devices. Uh, which is really good is really the documents to one or many devices if your enterprise or as well as your school as institution that would like to share documents and so forth to their iPad devices. So you want to go ahead and select that and get started. So on the previous ver uh, video I've created a migration assistant. The migration assistant is basically migrates your VPP codes into the new Apple Configurator. Uh, here is basically being prompted for Apple Configurator in a keychain. I'm going to always allow. It may. These are now your devices. So normally you would only see like a strip of bar and you'll see all the devices connected. This is completely different as you can see. You can actually see the actual devices. You can actually tell and find out, hey, you know what? This device, number 15, doesn't match what number 12 or 10 or so forth, which is your standard image. Uh, and now you would need to get it cleared up. Now, as you can see, card 6 uh, with number 12 iPad, it is still in the hello position. So we're going to see how we can actually move that over. So what you can do, this is just a preliminary overview of the Apple Configurator is that you can actually select the option. Normally, you would normally do a right click if you wanted to, and you want to select it on a get info on the older version. So on the newer version, it's pretty much the same way, same thing. Uh, you'll be able to see the status. You can see everything, the, all the tech info, how much is it filling up space, how much space is available, which is completely great and wonderful. Uh, it even tells you the iPad, what version it is uh, that you have uh, on your device or on your carts. Uh, which is everything is great. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and back out to this. Also the other thing is when you do a right click on the device now you can do add apps, documents, profile. So that means if you wanted to add apps to either all the devices or even just one specific device and have certain apps on that one you can even do that yourself. So now that's even better because some individuals may say oh we have this cart and we have an iPad uh, that has uh, that needs these specific apps for this uh, specific student for any specific reason, like or related to him being hearing impaired or vision impaired or uh, however the case may be. So then this will definitely help out a lot. Uh, you also have a remove option if you want to remove specific apps or profiles. Uh, if you want to modify the device name and wallpapers. So basically, we would need to rename the device. As you can see here, is the same device name. Uh, so here, basically, I have 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So the one I am missing is uh, 11. So let's do that right now. Let's see what how this works. Um, all right, so then we just retype the name. Rename, give it a moment. It's going to set the name on the device. And setting the name device is basically going to, um, it is going to specifically like to your general. Then you go to the about at the very top. When the about moves over, you can change the name there. That's the same process. Except this is really cool because you're able to do it in the actual Apple configurator. So we're just going to go through these really quick. You have an export option for information and documents. 
Uh, you can restore a device, you can update a device, so if these devices are on the older version, you can update to a newer version. Uh, you can prepare the device as you normally would have in the previous version. You have restore from backup, so if there's a master that you wanted to work with, you can select this and say, oh, I have a master here which to use, and you can also see which devices are encrypted or not encrypted. Uh, in our environment, we don't really need devices that are encrypted, but to each its own of the actual company that needs the device to be encrypted. You also have the apply uh, feature. So basically you can prepare the settings of the view migrated uh, is to what you have on the previous master. You can bring it to over to this device. Uh, you can do an existing backup of that specific device as well. Here are your advanced features. You have an unlock token, passcode. Clear passcode is really cool. I've tested this the other day. And basically, if a student decides to put a password and a pro in your, one of your profiles may not be restricted on password creation, but uh, you can actually, uh, if as long as it's connected to your Apple configurator, you can actually clear whatever the password is and you'll get right back into it instead of you doing a re store recovery, a recovery process on your device and restoring it from scratch and then going through the whole process. Uh, you have a start single app mode. So basically, if you want all these apps to just start one specific application and that's all it's running, that also can be done. You can revive a device too. Not sure what this is, but we can check into that. You can also erase all content and settings, all completely remotely that is connected through this Apple Configure. Now, not remotely, meaning wireless. Wireless would have to go through an MDM solution that you may currently have in your institution. So it could be Casper, it could be Meraki, or some other MDM solution. Uh, enable encrypted backups, disable encrypted backups. Uh, and then you have the get info, which we were just a moment ago. We can do a quick look. Let's see what this does. Uh, oh, that's pretty much cool. Uh, it actually shows you the same thing as get info, except it's a more summarized version. And then you have tags. Tags are kind of interesting because, uh, you know, Yosemite had tags, Mavericks has tags, or some tags, uh, as well as now El Capitan. Now you can make it specific on each device, too. So we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to see we have view uh, you can do a different types of view you can do a list view which would probably be the original view from the old version which it is yes except the only thing the old version did not show you the version the type capacity it didn't show you all these other additional columns and then you also have a sort by version so you can do either by version or by ios or by the capacity or if it's supervised or which organization are you using it with Okay, so then now you also have all devices. You have supervised, if you want specific devices that are supervised or unsupervised. So one of them disappeared here. So we're going to go ahead and see what the unsupervised one. That's the new version there um, that has been restored. That's why it states hello. But we're looking at 8.4.1. So this is interesting because I need to have my devices on. Uh, not 841, and as you can see, I have many other devices. I have an 812, I have another 812, I have a 902, so they're all different. Normally, I would like to have them all at the same kind of version. So, bear with me. I'm going to actually take a screenshot here. Uh, and then you also have uh, recovery in case any devices are in the recovery mode. Um, then you can also do add if you're going to add additional devices. We don't have additional devices connected. We only have the 15 that are there. You have your blueprints. You can edit your specific blueprints if you wanted to. So here is the blueprint process and prepare settings. We can create another video for that. So let's go back to our view collection. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Ah, there we go, down on the bottom right. And then you have here as well, you have prepare, update, backup, and additional tags. So basically we're going to go ahead and just select one and then you have the prepare option. So let's see if we can do this. Prepare and basically it's a, it's a walkthrough step-by-step -step process. Uh, it's quite similar as the previous versions of Apple Configurator uh, which is basically enrolling them into an MDM server, configuring which setup assistant panels uh, panes will be skipped before the user reaches a home screen. So basically right now we're at the hello. We can actually go through this process 
and you can actually do an automatic enrollment and you can also skip all the like setups you want to uh, share with app developers you want to enter apple id many of the different features you can actually skip right through them um, we can do an update if we wanted to so you can select an update which i'm going to do in a moment um, as because it may halt my process of apple configurator going through this process you can do a backup you can do tags so let's do a tag here really quick let's just hit blue uh, go back let's see if this tagged it can't not move it okay doesn't really show me a way if it is tagged or not let's go back to collection uh, doesn't show any other different color here as well um, all these little ones here that you see on the actual devices means that there's a one update or it could be your iOS that needs to be updated as you can see this has iOS 9 right here on the 15 and there is no one on the top right uh, besides that let's go see if there's a preferences yes there is so we have a preferences process and you can play sound on completion playing sound on the warning organizations uh, I do work in the Berkeley School District, and this is why it's actually appearing for that, but it will be all naming to your school or your enterprise company name that you have listed. These are any servers that you may have with your MDM solution, uh, and then your tags, as well as your backups. So that's basically an overview of the Apple II configurator. Uh, the settings, the features, uh, looks like in the, similar to the functionalities. In my additional videos, I will show you the features and functionality as well. Uh, thanks, and this is Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe, read the information notes on the description down below, uh, which will have also my additional social links. Thank you.